It should just display it as soon as it can. Uh, and that's what FreeSync allows. Now, um, it has a, a range of frequencies over which it operates. The, the FreeSync definition, which is now part of DisplayPort 1.2a, it's owned by the, uh, the Visa Standards Authority and so on. Um, this allows the, uh, the monitor to say, you know, I can cope with anywhere in the 30 to 60 hertz range and nothing wider. It can say that if it wants to. It could, it could pick out any part of the range, in fact, from as low as 9 hertz to as high as 240 hertz. And I suspect that something like 20 hertz to maybe 150 hertz, that's the place where human beings will actually care about it. So we want to make sure that we've got a little bit of latitude in the spec. 9 hertz to 240 hertz is the, uh, the maximum uh, variety of uh, refresh rates. But individual monitors don't have to cover the whole range, which means that you can generate something which is an attractive solution and you don't have to go full spec. Yeah, you don't have to spend the money on everything that can run at super high speed. You can just build a, a monitor which is um, well designed for the purpose it has in mind. <coughs> It'll deliver no stuttering. You'll get a consistent frame rate, which is what the monitor, sorry, what the graphics card is capable of delivering. Um, you'll get no tearing. So long as you operate within the frequency range that the monitor accepts, everything is tear-free. That's lovely. And you will always get full frame rate. That's attractive too. It means that you don't get the extra lag that's introduced by VSync every now and then. And that intermittent lag is what's really irritating about it. And fast input, because we expect monitors to typically go towards the higher part of this spec, not just in the 30 to 60 range, then you'll get a responsive system that is maybe only waiting 10 or so milliseconds. And in human standards, 10 milliseconds is pretty much instantaneous. Uh, when it comes to reaction time, 100 milliseconds is all weak, 10 milliseconds is instantaneous. Everything in between is, mm, and I really want instantaneous. So, um, I said that it's uh, an open standard. We gave it when we devised this to the Visa Standards Authority. They have made it part of DisplayPort 1.2a, and all subsequent DisplayPort uh, specifications will include this as an optional part. <coughs> Absolutely requires no proprietary hardware.